Hello, Patriot Radio operators. John Jacob Schmidt here, Amron Communications. In this video, we are going to walk you through the setup of the beta version for Comstat version 2, the offline map version. And this is why. We just lost internet. We open up Comstat and one of the selling points, one of the great features of Comstat is being able to map out the different stations that you see and hear. Down in the lower left-hand corner, we have the map. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Oh, there's our red dot from our last video in the, the test stat rep that we sent out. And here's our map, but we're not seeing a map. Why not? Well, you may retain some of the map tiles from the last time that you used Comstat, or if you still have it open from when you had internet and then lost internet, and you will have some tiles. You may even be able to zoom in to this location and uh, you'll notice that it will begin to degrade. You'll begin losing map tiles until, well, what you're stuck with is just a gray space with no map. So we're gonna solve that and walk through the version two upgrade of Comstat to include offline mapping. So go to the website, amron.com, and feel free to pause this video at any point if you need to zoom in on something or you need more clarification or you need to uh, look at something closer. Go up to the search bar and just type in Comstat and do a search for any posting or page that is related to Comstat, you'll want to look for Comstat 2025 after this video is posted. And that's where all of the resources for Comstat and the videos will be embedded. So I'm going to take you back to the Comstat version 2 offline mapping beta posting that is posted at the time of this video recording. And the same information will be available on the Comstat 2025 posting and page. Now you can go to the Proton Drive where Papa Romeo Whiskey, who put this beta uh, Comstat program together, uh, but you'll find the instructions where you need to email him and then he sends you the link for the download. But I have everything embedded right here. so. He doesn't have to worry about getting overloaded with uh, emails. Get the instructions PDF right here. And we'll just go ahead and open that up in a new tab. And this is where it explains the changes that have been made and the different features that have been added to this. So you'll notice in field two of the original Comstat program, this would be precedence, whether it is uh, routine or immediate or flash or priority. Well, that has been appropriately changed to the scope. So this is local or state, regional, national, uh, the scope of the stat rep. And uh, secondly, field six has been relabeled as the map pin to help you understand that this is the color of the pin that is going to be displayed on the map. Fields seven through 17 added an unknown option. This should be reflected as a gray color because you may not know what the situation is in your community on medical. You may know your power is out, your phone is out, your all the radio stations are off the air. You have no internet, but you have no idea what the roads are like. You don't have no idea what the political situation may be. So we have also added in an unknown uh, selection in the drop-down menu, the red, green, yellow, or gray. Gray being, I don't know if the hospital is, is functioning right now. I, I don't know. So this allows you to add that. The stat rep display in the data manager, which we'll cover in uh, upcoming video. Uh, but the stat, stat rep display in the data manager will reflect the gray option as well as in the reports. Map pins were reduced to display a little smaller on the maps so they wouldn't cover so much of the map. 
and change the response to comstat question mark that's a query to request uh, to reflect the updated version so you can query another station or at amron or to your group or to an individual operator uh, to their call sign and send a query cs question mark is a query of what version of comstat they are running that lets you know if they're running the offline map version uh, and uh, they'll be able to report using some of the unknown categories the gray or, or not this just lets you know what uh, version they are operating on now another update in version 1.0.7 uh, this now uses the a directory of map tiles and what's called local host to pull the map tiles. You will have these in a folder that will allow you to zoom in to, to a certain degree, even if you're offline and it will still display the maps. Uh, he didn't include a full spectrum of map tiles, but it's sufficient for the purpose of a good situational awareness map. And it is impressive how far you can zoom in with just the maps the map tiles that are included in this upgrade this is really simple to do so go down here to this uh, link comstat beta v2.zip as soon as you click on it it will automatically start downloading it and there it is let's look in our downloads folder and there it is as a zip file super simple right click click extract all click extract and there are all your your files that you're going to be copying and pasting in you also notice the instruction pdf that is on the website you'll see that here as well so you can read up and, and read a lot more of the details about this update and including this process of, of updating to version two. So this is really simple. What you're going to do is just copy all of these folders or files, right click, copy, and then you're going to go to your comstat folder. And that is under your C drive users. This is our username, RFR-S, or studio. There's Comstat1. So you're going to right-click and paste the contents from that uh, version 2 zip folder that you unzip. You're going to paste all of those contents into Comstat1. This is going to show us our progress here. Now, you're going to get a pop-up saying, hey, you already have a file with that name in here. Do you want to skip or do you want to replace the files in the destination? You're going to replace the files in the destination. And there you go. So let's close out of all of this. We have just disconnected from the internet. So now we have no access to online mapping. I disconnected the ethernet cable uh, from my router. So we have no internet on this computer. Let's open up Comstat through our shortcut from the desktop. And there is Comstat with our uh, WXYZ call sign practice stat rep that we produced in the last video. Here it is, and there's the US map. You can see all the borders. Let's see how far we can zoom in with this offline mapping. And these are built-in map tiles now that we're using. It's no longer just a big gray open area. We actually have maps. So let's zoom into our location here. And that's where we lose our map tiles. So let's zoom out and let's take a look there we are okay richland kennewick lewiston this is idaho washington border here's the washington oregon border right next to walla walla washington 
and that's as far as we can zoom in. So that is plenty good enough when you are trying to look at map pins for stations that are populating this map across the United States with their status reports. And that's where you can zoom in. Now, another added feature here with uh, version two is that you can click on a map pin and it will show you the stat rep ID, stat rep 717 from this call sign. So then you can go up to your menu in the upper left-hand corner, do several, several things, but let's look at stat rep ACK or stat rep acknowledgement. And this will show a list of all the stat reps, including the ID right here. See that 717? That is the same as what's reflected here on the map. When we click on that pin, it showed us stat rep ID 717. That's this one here. So you can find that in a list of stat reps uh, when they really start to come in and start to stack up. Let's close this. And you are all set up with stat rep version 2.0. One other feature here that I wanted to point out is the new stat rep that Papa Romeo Whiskey worked up. Uh, this is stat rep version 5.1. And you'll see some of the changes here. Over here, uh, the scope is has replaced the precedence level. So we no longer have routine, priority, and so on. Stat reps uh, are all basically routine. If you have something priority or higher, this should be done using another form, such as a, a sit rep situation report. But from the drop-down menu, now we have my location, my community, my county, my region, and then other location. So if you receive a report from somebody who has internet, phone, power is out in another town, let's say another ham operator who reports things are out in his area, you can actually submit a stat rep on behalf of that other operator, which would then populate the map with a pin of that other location, indicating what services are out or disrupted or facing you know disruptions or they could be all green but this allows you to report on another location also the map pin here green yellow or red uh, commercial power is green yellow red or unknown this is a new category here that's been added so you can report unknown for some of these uh, different categories because you may not know uh, some of these some of these categories, especially if you're reporting on another town. All they say is, "Our power is out here," and that's all you got from them. You could report commercial power is red, and you have no other information. You can go through and click unknown. So uh, this gives you something other to report than green, because green tells you there are no disruptions in this category. Public water is green. In other words. We've got water here. Well, you may not know that. And this gives us the option now of choosing unknown as a category. And there you go. There's version two, offline mapping and the updated stat rep form. All built into this, super easy to set up. Very quick and easy to set up. Uh, the only difference is if you are in Amron and you're running the Amron Linux build script, if you run the script and run comstat1, it will automatically update you to version 2. And now if you're operating on a Linux operating system, you're going to drop those files that you copy and paste into your home folder, home slash radio slash comstat1. You drop it into the Comstat 1 folder there. And you'll be off and running. All right, now get your comms up. This is John Jacob Schmidt, out.